Well, we're back with the uh, original electric motor from the Sherline 5000 miniature mill. And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who commented on the first video that I did on this motor. Really helpful. Well, there's one of the wonderful things about the YouTube community is that when people make constructive comments on the rest of it on your videos, you quite often get ideas that you would never have even thought of. And I want to particularly thank two guys who commented on my video. First of all, uh, Kev from Mr. Factotum's workshop, who made the brilliantly simple comment, which was, why don't you change out the oil light bearings and fit a ball race bearing? So I thought, yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. So we'll close in on the, the um, motor casing. There we go, so you can, sure you can see that there. Now, as you can see, the casing is cast, and it looks like it's been cast to take a ball race bearing, and it's the same with the other, the other end. The other, this is the the other end, okay. And as you can see, there's there is it almost look like it's designed to take a ball race bearing. However, when I made, I've removed the oil light bearing, the original uh, one that was uh, worn, and measured that up, but I can't find a bearing, a ball race bearing that will fit that hole anywhere. So that's kind of snookered that one. Then there was another comment from Machinist Matt, and this was again, so I'd never, I don't know why I didn't even think of this, but Matt said, why don't you bush the bush? And I thought, yeah, that's not a bad idea. In other words, here's the original. That's the original, okay? Which is uh, quite worn. He said, see if you can get another oil like bush that you could bore this out and then press fit the new bush into, into the original one. I thought, well, yeah, that's a bloody good idea. So I went and had a look, and sure enough, there we go. <coughs> that was, uh, I think I got that from Bearing Boys. That's uh, 5 sixteenths ID, which is exactly what you need for the shaft on the uh, on the rotor. And uh, I think it's a half by a half. So that will, that will ease it. It's not quite as long as the original. Not quite as long, but it will definitely that would I can definitely bore that out to take that that's that bush. So that's what uh, yeah that's what we're going to have a have a go at doing. I've also I cleaned up the commutator. The commutator cleaned up lovely, just a little bit of 400 grade wet and dry. Stuck it in a collar on the laden low speed and just cleaned the, the commutator up. So we're going to have a go at um, boring out the original bush, oil light bearing, and pressing in. Um, a new one and uh, yeah fingers crossed so this is the setup in the lathe got the oil light bearing in a collet I've got one of my little tiny uh, very small micro boring bars uh, the biggest one I think that, that would, would do it obviously the smaller you get the more flex you get on these things so I've got the, the biggest one I think will be able to, to, to make the cut and uh, we're just going to Give it a go. Little tiny bit of cut to start with. Well, that seems to be okay. I'll take it slow and steady and we'll bring it slowly out to half an inch. Well, there it is, a bush within a bush. Let's have a close in on it, you can have a look. It worked out very well, as long as you run the lathe slowly, the, the oil light bearings actually machine fine. Yeah, there's still plenty of meat left on the outside of the, the original. So, you know, I think that will do the trick. So all we've got to do now is get that bearing fitted back in and reassemble the motor. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along. As I said, you know, I, obviously I have a motor for my mill as I replaced it, but it would be really nice to resurrect this because it would make a great spare, you know. So that's, that, you know, that's the plan. But, um, right, let's put it back together. Well, it's all back together, and there is no play whatsoever in this, in the armature shaft now, and it rotates freely. It's, it's, you know, so hopefully, you know, assuming I haven't cocked anything else up, uh, <laughs> while I was putting it back together, it should be okay. So, I'll stick it in the vise, and we'll see if we can get it to run. 
Yeah, I've only I'm only loosely holding it in the vise. It's not it's not clamped tight. I've got a lot of pressure down onto the case over it. Let's give it a go. That seems to be all right. Yeah, I would say there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Result, yay! Well, I'm pleased about that. I actually resurrected that motor for a relatively little cost. The oil light bushing was only about a fiver, I think. I didn't pay more than that for it. A little bit of work and the thing is um, back running again. Uh, I've got to get a grommet that I can fit in there because obviously I had to destroy the one that was in there that, that, that went around the cable. But no, that's, uh, that's running okay. I would call that a success. So... Thanks again, uh, everyone who made the comments, especially you guys, Matt and Kev, and Matt particularly, because it was your idea to do this, to bush the bush, and it's and it works. It's obviously worked, worked, worked superbly. So, yeah, thanks everyone for the comments. So, yeah, I think that'll be a bit about it. We got it going. That was the whole object of the exercise. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's always worth uh, investigating these things because you never know. You know, I could have just thrown this away, and it, you know, it's actually a perfectly serviceable motor. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's that about wraps it up for the original Sherline 5000mm motor. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.